Okay, so we're going to talk about how it is that I write the equation based off of this graph. Now in an earlier video, I did this a different way than what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to show you that there are two methods to doing this. There's one method, which I've already talked about, which is the y equals d plus a sine in parentheses b, then in parentheses again the x minus the c. I am now just going to go through and do this all algebraically. So the algebraic method here is, okay, we talked about last time I had already found the centering of this by using the amplitude. So I found the minimum was 0 and the maximum was 4. So I took halfway of that, which gave me 2. So the formula up here, if I take a look at this one, I recognize it's the sine function. So I'm just going to put y equals d plus a sine bx minus c. Now, other textbooks might use different variables for A, B, and C, but it's all relatively the same thing. So, for this one, same thing with D. D I still need to find, and D represents your vertical shift. So, when it's not starting on the x-axis, my value shifted up 2. So, this is still Y equals 2. Now, my function is negative, and the reason I know it's negative is because it starts at its, uh, on its imaginary axis zeroing value and then it goes down, so it's going to be a negative function. My amplitude is 2 because if I look at the distance from my axis to my minimum, it is a measurement of 1, 2. And if I look at it from over here, this measurement here is still a value of 2. So my a is 2. Now, sine. So I need to figure out what this middle stuff is. Well, the way that you can do this is you can look at one period of this function and go, okay, one period of this function centered around the origin here, okay, it's just closest to the origin of the x and y axis here, is going from x, the domain, is going from negative pi over 4, so negative pi over 4, and it is less than or equal to 3 pi over 4. So now I can go through and I can just solve this. And the way I'm going to solve this is that the whole goal is that the original function the original function of sine goes from 0 to 2 pi. So all I want to do is work my way backwards. I started off with some, something in here, okay, which was this amount, and set it into here, okay, thinking back to graphing. I took what was inside of the parentheses here, of inside the function, and I set it up on the interval of 0 to 2 pi. So my goal is just to set this up and do additions and subtractions and multiplications and whatever I can to make this look like going from 0 to 2 pi, and whatever is in the middle is what's going to go in these parentheses. So let's go through and do that. So I'm going to try to get my starting point to match up with the beginning. The way I do that is I have negative pi over 4. Well, how do I make negative pi over 4 0? I add pi over 4. So I plus pi over 4. So this goes back to how is it? How is it that you make something into a, uh, you know, zero and adding fractions and stuff like that. So what I've now got here is zero is less than or equal to x plus pi over four, which is less than or equal to, now three pi over four plus pi over four. So three pi over four plus five plus pi over four is four pi over four, which is just pi. So I'm not done yet. <coughs> I'm still trying to make it go from 0 to 2 pi, so I want this still to look like something from 0 to 2 pi. So I've got something that I've got to do yet, because this has to be a 2 pi, and currently it's a pi. Well, guess what? If I multiply this by 2, I have to multiply everything else by 2. And the reason I'm multiplying it by 2 is because 2 times pi is 2 pi. So I multiply everything in here by 2, and this point should look familiar to last video, where you get the 2 times x plus the pi over 4. So it's just a matter of whichever way you like it. So then I'm just going to distribute here, and I'm going to get 2x plus pi over 2. So what I now have is on the interval that this was my original function inside here, so that I now have it going from 0 to 2 pi. So all I do is take this and transfer it back up to here of 2x plus pi over 2. And what that does is it eliminates the you know some of the other thought process, but... This one here is just algebraically where you're taking your period and going backwards and working algebraically to get this. And the other method was just looking at, okay, what's occurring? How do I get these things? And just going back each individual step and going backwards. So I hope that helps with your homework as well.